Menenburg, notorious for drug dens and gang violence. This mother lost her son after he was caught in a crossfire. A year on, no arrests have been made. When I come there, twelve bullets were in his body. He was already there. I was trying to kiss my son, but I can't kiss him because the blood was in his mouth. And um, the Sunday after that, I buried my son. The DA took to the streets in protest. A memorandum was handed to the police. We want the army in here to stabilize Mellenberg and other gang and drug hotspots, while the police, through special units, investigate and bring to book the drug dealers and the gangsters. The ANC was in KwaZulu Natal. Here they held a colorful intercultural festival at Chatsworth, south of Durban. The party claims to have made great strides in uniting different races. The gap that was opened and that we have experienced in the past is narrowing and narrowing and we are making, an, we are making efforts to integrate people in our province, to integrate people in South Africa. In Gauteng, ANC officials were out partying with the youth in Coronation Park. They were celebrating 20 years of freedom and handing the leadership baton to the youth. The party says it's confident of young people going out and voting in their numbers. It was important for us to gather young people together and to share with them the positive story that we have to tell. And of course, as part of an election campaign, to say to the young people that we're passing the baton to them, that the future is in their hands, and we are making a call to all of them to come out in large numbers. Eastern Cape, the NFP has welcomed more than 100 new members from various political parties. NFP leader says the ANC is no longer the same. The political party that is going to lead a clean government, the government that will listen to them and the government that will deliver services to them. And that is what we offer to the people of the Eastern Cape. She's confident that her party will do well in the upcoming elections in the Eastern Cape.